Hey YouTube, this is Danny V. You guys are watching Inspire Your Mind. We have a lovely co-host today, Cindy. Hi guys, I'm Cindy, and today we're going to talk about being a struggling actor slash actors in LA. Fun times. I cannot believe it. I mean, tell me a little bit about it. It's, it's, isn't it so crazy? I know that a lot of actors are waitresses, they're mm -hmm. stand-up comedian, and they're backup dancers. But yeah. it's so much of a struggle in LA because, you know, there's so many actresses out mm -hmm. there. And, and tell me a little bit about your experience in that whole yeah, scene. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it can definitely be difficult, especially because uh, looks matter a lot in the industry. And so, if you don't get a job, sometimes it really isn't you. Sometimes it's just, oh, your hair is too long, or, or uh, your teeth aren't white enough, or something like that. Like, so it's not always you, it could be, you're too short, we have a, an app, your love interest is 6'2", and you're 5'2", like it's not going to work camera-wise, so it could just be little things, it's difficult. <laughs> so you're saying don't take it personal, it's just something that you're not, you don't have the right features for the right role, basically. Right, exactly. And Hollywood is so particular on a certain thing, yeah. right? Yeah, a lot of Hollywood is like, it's luck, hard work, who you know, right. looks, and talent like it's like all five of those things and it could just be one of those things that gets you a role or it could be like three of those things or like one of those things that doesn't get you a role it's hit it's it's hit or miss basically yeah. you, you, either you have it or you, or you don't have mm -hmm. it so what are some of the ways you would say to accomplish that objections be nice to everyone okay uh, that's like a first one because you should be kind to everyone just as a general rule of being a human just like be kind but then also, you never know who you're going to meet. Like, don't burn any bridges because, I don't know, if you're mean to the makeup artist on a student film, she could end up she could end up being a producer for, like, Warner Brothers, and then you've, like, destroyed that relationship. So. I see. It makes sense. Yeah. You know what I would tell our audience or people that want to be actresses or actors is try to learn how to become better at customer service mm -hmm. and also sales. I would say maybe get a sales job customer service, that way you build your rapport with the producer, mm -hmm. the script writer, whoever, and also if you sale, hey, have, have sales experience, you can sell yourself that you're a good actress and, and so mm -hmm. forth. So I would say even though whatever industry you are, you're, 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 you're an upcoming waiter and you're trying to be an actress or whatever, get some sales experience and customer service and that will land you the next big hit with Warner Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I mean it doesn't hurt because you are you are your brand. So get a website, get on IMDb, like get on those professional sites because it just shows that you're serious about your brand and you are willing to work. <laughs> right. So maybe start up your own channel. I would say. Yeah. And then that that would help, right? <laughs> yeah, that is definitely social media is a okay. huge thing right now, and YouTube. So television used to be like made fun of. Because they're like, oh, but you're not a movie. You're just you're just a TV actor. Right. And now TV is big, and YouTube stars are sort of like, oh, you're just a YouTube actor. But it's starting to be like YouTube actors are what they want to cast in films and TV because they're raw, they're they ready, have, they have yeah, energy, they have people, and they're ready to give it all. They all have they an audience too that's right. that's watching them. So people will watch a show because right. they're in it. You know. That makes sense. Social media is pretty big too. Uh, yeah, you gotta get on social media, work on those followers. Alright, do you, you know any actors or directors that you wanna say their name or any met? Oh, you mean I met? Yeah, yeah. I worked with Matt Damon before. Oh, you met? That was pretty cool. Really? Yeah, I, I was on a promo. He's not an asshole, is he? No, okay. he's very nice. He's a very <laughs> nice person. Okay. Yeah. He's fun and sweet yeah, as well. Yeah, he's great. I've been on set with like a bunch of actors, but as far as actually like meeting and speaking to like uh -huh. Matt Damon was pretty cool. Wow, yeah. that's, you know, one of my desires is to be an actor or an actress nice. and maybe a lunch with them. To see how they are in real life. I mean, you see them on a set, but you don't mm -hmm. know them as a person. Yeah. And that would be so cool and maybe that maybe yeah. can happen one day for me. A lot of actors are a lot nicer than tabloids make them out to be. Like, I've been on uh -huh. Justin Bieber's set before and oh, I was wow. really nervous uh -huh. when I got there. But then, like, on the actual set, he was a really nice guy. So, I like, don't, don't let... <laughs> Tabloids. Don't like, get it twisted, basically, yeah, right? Don't like ever come into onto a set, especially with a celebrity, and like think, oh, they're gonna be an asshole, because then you're just gonna be looking at them like, oh, that person's an asshole. But then, it's like, you know, they're people too. They probably have a lot more to deal with than we do. So makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, I'd like to conclude our show. 
to our audience today. I want you guys to keep watching our show and definitely subscribe. Stay tuned.